after diffraction we will study a model which is called knife edge diffraction model now knife edge means in this case we assume that the obstacle our obstacle is knife edged so it is called knife edged model so this suppose this is our obstacle uh, in the last video uh, i have told you that we have three cases first case when your obstacle is greater than height of your transmitter and receiver in this case transmitter and receiver height is constant the same but obstacle is greater than height of your transmitters and receivers so here we have angle alpha and L beta and gamma so this is your angle alpha beta and gamma now in this case these angles will remain same only this angle varies depends upon the height of your obstacle so in this case your alpha your v are positive and h is this is your h h is also h is also positive now what is the value of alpha alpha is equals to h into d1 plus d2 upon d1 into d2 beta and gamma will remain same only alpha varies now why alpha varies alpha depends upon d1 d2 and h distance it depend h varies at h can be varies d can be varies and d1 can be vary and d2 can be varied so alpha varies only because of the height and distance between transmitter obstacle and obstacle and the receiver so this is the first case alpha will be positive h will be positive now what is v v is the diffraction parameter this is the diffraction parameter which is equals to alpha under root of 2 into d1 d2 upon lambda into d1 plus d2 lambda is the wavelength of the signal so v depends upon alpha d1 and d2 this is the first case when your height is positive obstacle height is positive second case when height is almost equal to the height of your transmitter and receiver this is the second case when obstacle this is your line of sight so in this case this is your d1 and this is d2 in this case height will be h will be equals to 0 so alpha v alpha is 0 hai v will v will also be equals to 0 and h is also 0 this is the second case and third case when your transmitter receiver height is greater than your obstacle height this is your obstacle this is your transmitter and this is your receiver now in this case your h will be negative h will be negative this will be your alpha this is alpha so in this case alpha and sorry alpha and v will be negative and h will also be negative so these are the three cases of the height of your obstacle now the electric field in each of the cases that can be calculated by ed upon e not now what is ed ed is the knife edge diffraction knife edge diffraction this is assumed to be knife edged this is so ed is your knife edge diffraction e not is the free space free space field strength field strength means in this case we are assuming that we are encountering with no obstacle so this can be calculated by fresnel's integer this is your fresnel's fresnel integer and this can be calculated by 1 plus j by 2 integration from 
v to infinity exponent value of minus j pi t square by 2 into d of t so this is the knife edge model if in this case we are assuming only one obstacle so if we have number of obstacles uh, suppose this is your transmitter uh, sorry this is your transmitter this is your receiver and we have number of obstacles this is your first obstacle this is your second obstacle this is your third obstacle in that case your signal will travel like this so when we have number of obstacles that is called multiple knife edge knife edge diffraction so this is the this is the model of knife edge diffraction i hope that you all understand the concept of diffraction thank you so much